All right, in this video I want to show you guys how to tie a knot for your fishing lure. I've got a slab tied here. Let's see how close I can get this so you can see. I've got it tied directly to the slab. And that's the best way to go. <clears throat> I'd forgotten when I first started fishing, I used to use a smaller version of these. You know, I'd tie that on here and then, uh, it's not focusing, and then I'd just slip this on there. And I thought that was fine. And I noticed that my buddy was always catching way more fish than I was. And so I ended up pulling this thing off. And just going with the knot directly onto the lure was so much better. And uh, anyways, I took my friend out the other day. And he started using one of these. And it, it I, I noticed he was only catching, you know, a few fish for every, like, five or six I was catching of sand bass. So I told him to uh, take that off. He didn't believe me. He argued with me for a while about it. I finally did it, and then he started catching more fish. So if you got these in your tackle box and using it, just get rid of them. Uh, maybe you'll find some purpose for it. But anyways, <clears throat> this particular knot, so I get to focus again. The way it's designed, the why it's so good, is you can just take your finger here and pull it. And look how easy it comes apart. <clears throat> That's just one-handed. And then you can retie. So it's just, you can do it just as fast as using one of these. So let me go ahead and show you how I tie that on now. All right, I'm going to show you how I tie the knot now. You know, I've got the line. I should have gotten some bigger pound, pound tests. It would be easier to see. <clears throat> Anyways, all I did is I, I pushed it through. I'm going to put my finger right here. Give me something to tie around. Alright, so that's where I'm at right there. Now I'm going to take the, the little strand and spin it around. See how it's going? I've got two, <clears throat> three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let me see if I can hold this without letting it go. <clears throat> Alright, see, I've got that. Um, there's a little, the rest of it's right here. But anyway, I've got it twisted around. So now, and you do it ten times. It doesn't have to be exactly ten, but ten is usually about where you want to be. Now this little piece that, that's for the end, you want to take it and slip it back through the base here. I'm going to grab it. Whoops. Try that again. So, anyways, now I have it there and I just pull it tight. <clears throat> lost it there. Anyways, now just pull that real tight. Use your other finger to kind of cinch it down. Anyways, just make sure it's on there good and tight. You have a little bit of extra and you can clip this piece off if you need to. <coughs> And sometimes if you don't get it quite right, you can kind of pull it out a little bit and then tighten it back down. But anyways, you don't want this to be loose. Make sure it just stays nice and tight. And <clears throat> whenever you throw your lure out there, it'll act the way it's supposed to act. Um, and like I said, you can just clip this off if you need to. And the next time you decide the lure is not working for you, you just put your thumb there or your nail and pull it apart. That's how it comes apart. So there you go.